down, slow them down. Really use that core, use your back. Make this an action that starts from the ground and works its way up your spine. <sighs> Kitty cat. <laughs> Zeppelin says, use your core, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Okay. And on your next inhale, go ahead and come up to a nice tall seated position. We're sitting stacked directly over our hips. Now placing the left hand just out to the side of us, reaching that right arm up nice and tall and sliding out on that exhale. Again, keeping that belly pulled in. I'm not slunched over here. I'm really trying to lengthen my spine still. <sighs> Keeping that right hip grounded. And even if you're just here slightly to the side, that's great. Just keep working at it and you'll get deeper and deeper. <laughs> And then now, if you want to take this to the next level, we can start our pulses. Exhaling to reach out, inhaling to sit up. You can even take that arm behind the back or use it to help you. Yoga is all about finding what is right for you. No two people are the same. I am not your learning curve. And on your next inhale, coming up to seated, we're now going to tuck that left foot, or sorry, right foot by our hip. Left foot comes over by the knee. Again, you can take whatever variation works for you. But we're pulling in that belly, zipping it up, and taking that left arm behind our back and reaching over, keeping the spine nice and long. And inhale, coming back to center. Okay, so next what we're going to do is some seated twists. We're going to have our goalie arms here, and every exhale, we're going to turn to look back over that shoulder, and we're going to inhale to center, and then exhale to look over the opposite shoulder again, taking our head with us. Ready? Let's begin. And exhale. And inhale back to center. Next, we're going to come up for our kneeling half moon. Go ahead and come to your right knee, trailing your foot right back behind you. You can step your right hand just out to the side so that way it lands underneath that shoulder, keeping that slight bend in your elbow, pulling into the side. Mm -hmm. Inhale, lifting that foot straight up, making sure it's in alignment with your body, activating the belly. Exhaling, we're gonna crunch forward, kind of rounding the spine. Inhale to straighten out, stretch. Exhale, really activating from the core. Now, if this is too much for you, you can always come down to your side by scooting your knee down, lowering your hip, and then bringing your elbow down. And then same thing, inhaling, exhaling to crunch, inhale, exhale to crunch. Following along with Miss Tracy. And one more time, inhale, exhale, crunch, and inhale. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, other side. So now switching over to the left knee, 
foot trailing back behind, walking that left foot out, keeping everything in alignment here. Inhaling that arm up and foot up. Exhale, crunching in, really reaching and extending. If you want on your inhales, you can even reach back behind. Exhale to bring that in. And activating that belly. Exhale. Moving at your own pace. Breathing. And inhale. Back to kneeling. All right, go ahead and join us on your back with your knees up and feet planted. You can take your arms out to the side in the teeth or have them bent in the cactus position. We're going to pick our knees up, flexing the feet, and then we're going to exhale, taking the knees to one side, not going farther than what you can do without picking up that opposite elbow. Exhale, other side. Inhaling to pick back up. Exhale, lower down. Again, keeping both shoulders planted. Making this an action starting from the tummy. If you need to or want to, you can take it another level by taking the legs straight up in the air. Adds a bit more of a challenge. Really squeezing those inner thighs. You can do it. I'm shaking. back out T position or cactus. Try to take them as straight up as you can. If you need to have a little bend and out somewhat, that's fine, but make sure you're really pulling in that belly button, making those toes shake and quiver. And on your inhale, we're going to open out. Exhale, bringing that right foot across. Inhale apart, right foot comes behind now. Exhale, picking back up. I'm shaking, see my toes wiggling. Squeezing that belly. Woo! Keep pushing, the mind gives up before the body does. One last one. And exhale, Ooh. knees to chest, hug it out. You can even hold your hands on your knees and kind of Pull your shoulders out by pushing the knees forward into your hands, pressing those hips around. Mm. Good job, way to hang in there. All right, now we are going to go into a laying down eagle pose here. Uh, so we are going to pick up our left knee, right leg comes up, over, and then tuck your right foot under. If you can't reach that right foot all the way around your calf just yet, you can follow along with Tracy. And you really want to make sure that you are pulling the outside of your calf together. So that way you're sandwiching it because eventually we want to make it to tucked all the way. So then we are going to do opposite arms of our legs. So then now my right arm comes in Left comes behind, wraps under, and claps. Again, if you can't quite get there all the way, you can press the backs of your hands together. And activating that belly, we're going to inhale, extend your legs out and arms up and out, and exhale, squeezing them in. Pulling open, exhaling, pulling everything in, twisting our way to a smaller belly. Bring out those organs and inhale. Exhale. And go ahead. 
ahead and inhale to unwind. <sighs> Come to a comfortable place. And now wiggle it out. Yeah, man. Let it loose. Do what you need to. Yell at me. <laughs> Yes, that, that's your actually your IT band, and it's actually getting a really big stretch.